All right, today we're going to be talking about George Dickel Tennessee Whiskey. Are you ready? Get ready. Hey everybody, this is Mark from Northwest Bourbon. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about George Dickel Tennessee Whiskey because I found a bottle of 15-year-old 100.8 proof Tennessee Whiskey for $55. And to find a 15-year-old single barrel 100 proof whiskey is pretty hard to come by these days. And the tag says that it was barreled in 2005. So chances are good this bottle was actually bottled last year, which would make it actually 16 years old and some change, depending on the month it was bottled. Because it says it was barreled in October, but it doesn't say the bottled date. But since this is a new bottle, let me open this real quick so I can talk about them a little bit while this gets some air. All right, so I poured a glass of that 15 slash 16 year in my wisdom glass and let that open up for a little bit. And we'll get to that in a minute. We're just gonna let that breathe for a second since I just cracked that bottle. Now, the only other time I've had any Dickel was because Whiskey Nose sent me over a bottle that I won uh, of the nine year single barrel sour mash. And so special shout out to Marty over at Whiskey Nose for sending me this guy. Uh, this is a single barrel aged nine years and it is 103 proof. I've had a couple drinks out of this already, but it's been a month or so since I've had some. So I'm gonna pour myself another glass of this so I can side by side it. So the Dickel Distillery opened in 1878 and ran until it was closed in 1919 for the prohibition. Then it reopened in 1958 and released its first bottle after the reopening in 1964. And right now it is being run by Nicole Austin, the general manager and distiller. If you want to learn more about Dickel, you can check them out at their website, but we're going to start getting into this whiskey. All right. And as you see these single barrel, just wanted to show off the bottles for a second that these uh, single barrel bottles come in these real short, stout, square looking bottles that are really distinct from the other bottles on your bar. So they kind of stand out a little bit. They look really nice. Um, I, I like the old classic look that they have about them. All right, so I poured that in my wisdom glass to really accentuate the nose and the flavor on that. It's got a nice rich color to it. You get some real strong vanilla right off the bat. You smell a little bit of barrel and then some light fruits. It doesn't smell very spicy, not a lot of herbs. Not very floral, it's just vanilla, wood, char, fruits. Smells good. There's a little bit of grapes, but not like a grape soda grape, more like a wine grape, grape, you know? A little bit of cherry. You got some other red fruits in there. I like the smell of this one. Kind of bounces all around your mouth for a bit, giving you some uh, honey and then some barrel char then some bitterness. Uh, you got kind of a, a sour swirl on the back there, which I've learned a lot of people associate with Dickel as having a mineral type, uh, you know, children's like a Flintstone vitamin flavor to it. All right, second sip after my mouth got acclimated a little bit, has a lot more fruit notes and kind of a power struggle between the sweetness and the bitterness of like the charred barrel. Um, I don't, I don't hate it. Not sure what all the hate's about. Maybe they're hating on some of the lower end offerings and that's totally understandable considering considering bottom shelf is bottom shelf for a reason. But overall, it's pretty good. Let's rinse out real quick. All right, let's move on to the single barrel 15 slash 16 year. Got a nice dark rich color just like the other one, but it's a few shades even darker. Uh, it looks beautiful in this wisdom glass though, doesn't it? It even smells darker, like darker fruits, richer uh, plums covered in molasses. There are still some lighter fruits in there, but the darker notes are much more prevalent. Let's go into it, cheers. That one has a real smooth roll over the tongue. The sweetness is not as strong up front. 
you get the honeys and the fruits and the bitterness on the back that sour roll like i was talking about with the uh, the vitamin mineral stuff going on but it's got a good balance to it it's going for a second that second sip has a different medicinal cherry thing going on in the back um it kind of coats the mouth and then it goes away and then it comes back again it's really strange uh it's got a kind of a deep interesting finish uh there's there's not really much of a hug so to say but it does have a really distinct flavor kind of like how four roses or maker's mark they really have their own distinct flavor and so i can see where some people would say this is not in my flavor profile all right at the end of the day i would say my recommendation is a try or a buy once so if you've got a friend that has one or you can go to a bar and try it then try it i recommend you try it because if you like it you'll love it but if you don't like it you won't want to have bought a whole bottle of it uh, me i like it i enjoy it but i probably won't buy another one so it's just a buy once from me all right so i'm gonna leave you guys with a bad bourbon joke so I was having a few drinks with my buddy the other day and I started noticing he was looking a little down. He was a little off his baseline, looking a little sad, a little depressed. And so I wanted to comfort him, you know, in a way. And so I went up, put my hand on his shoulder and I said, bargain. And he said, hey, thanks, man. That means a great deal. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Check out our Patreon. Watch out for more videos coming your way. Remember, earn, protect, enjoy. Cheers.